Hi, Bob Pochin here. Uh, my loving wife asked me nicely. It's time to uh, move the goodies off the kitchen counter. So that's where we're at. We're testing each one of the different uh, towers, coils, that we've made, the different wires and different sizes. This particular one is an inch. It's 1.875 OD, 20 inches winding length. And it has about seven and a half ohms with uh, 0 0.0105 uh, nanofarads. So, uh, sorry, oh, can't see. And it fluctuates a little bit, obviously, as I get closer. I'll get the rest of them here shortly. This one is, uh, oh, and by the way, the wire gauge in the last one was a 22 gauge. This one is also 22 gauge. 3.5 inch OD, 20 inch long coil winding, and it has an ohms of about 12.3, uh, and the capacitance with me not around it is uh, normally from about 0 0.010 nanofarads to uh, 0 0.020, uh, stabilizes out very rarely. I have to figure out what's going on there. Hopefully somebody will be able to let me know. Here's a much larger one. It is a four and a half inch OD, still 20 inches long, and it is 22 gauge wire as well. It's at 15.7 uh, ohms, um, and the Capacitance meter, I'm going to discount completely, so there it is until I figure out what's going on. This one is a 3.5 inch OD, still 20 inch long winding, but with 26 gauge wire winding. It has an ohm rate ohms of 43.3. Uh, Once again, that discounted capacitance meter. This one is a three and a half inch uh, OD, 30 gauge wire, still the same 20 inch long winding. This one has 158.5 ohms, and then there's your capacitance, but uh, please discount it. I will be taking and testing all of these. That's the last one for uh, the day to determine exactly uh, what kind of uh, capacities they have. Okay, we're using Slayer's uh, circuit that he posted on the forum and on YouTube. Um, I'm going through uh, uh, the uh, <laughs> transistors real quick, but as you can see his little on. I'm only using 147 milliamps. It does start out at about 60, but the, the reason for this video is here's the very um, untuned coil. It's using 22 gauge. I put one of the other uh, 22 gauge coils over here right next to it and tried to come up with uh, this little, uh, hopefully you can see it uh, without let's see There's a little bit of plasma there. On the other coil, it would not give me the plasma. This one is um, 30 gauge, and it does give the plasma. And when you put it further apart, you get more of it. Figured I'd mention that. Okay, crude update. Uh, my tuning method was unwrap a few coils and get down to 9, like Slayer mentioned. I was at about 18. And you saw my spark before, or plasma before. Now watch the plasma. And by the way, that burns a lot on the skin. New update. Uh, we had 22 gauge. We now have 26 gauge wire, same core size, we're 245 milliamps, 
it actually takes our phone, which is oh, about a meter away, and uh, wipes it. More importantly, the plasma is phenomenally longer. I don't know if you can see that. I'm a good uh, ha three quarters of an inch out. But that's the difference between a 26 and a 22. I am about uh, 12 to 18 inches away, and I am lighting that neon bulb on the very top of there. Quite a field. We've just swapped the towers out again. The one with the uh, secondary coil now is at 30 gauge, and the other one, the 26, is now as your second one over here. And this one, the the force is literally sucking the wire to my hand. I don't know if you can see that. Try and go into the but just by literally having my hand anywhere near and out and it burns badly. Uh, as you can see it tries to uh, ouch suck to my hand. So we've got uh, and it's pulling about 329 milliamps at only uh, 10 volts about 10.6 volts so that's pretty impressive um, and I mean I'm just lighting up the Christmas tree here without even uh, working on it and they're extremely bright this looks like this is going to be the one for a little bit of electrolysis I don't know if you can see this the corona it's pretty heavy on the clip that clip is just going into the bucket here with with the simple reverse osmosis water and the bucket is isolated that's all that's in there you can actually start to see the arc now I actually have to keep the iPhone far away from this because otherwise it tends to uh, mess it up from the plasma stream but you can see the plasma off the end of the wire with the reflection it's got a pretty good stream coming out of there in between the two plates. I actually have to pull the phone back in order to shut it off.